Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I am Koichi Easy, and in this video, I want to do another battle against the Balzac Beast, but this time I'm going to be using a slightly different team. So, uh, pretty much with the previous dormant team that I used, um, uh, you saw how the effects of Evolve could actually uh, make the battle actually go on quite long. Um, I've been in different uh, situations with that same team where I actually have prevented. Uh, uh, secrets of evolution so uh in this case if you can't prevent secrets of evolution you're gonna have to go with this particular team right here so uh pretty much i have uh three attackers that are all going to be equipped with the blade of ramias so if you know the blade of ramias uh it has the ability called phantasmal sword slash with that um you are actually able to remove buffs off of an enemy and this includes all four buffs of the uh secrets of evolution um uh technique used by the balzac beast so pretty much also removing evolve so pretty much uh this team is still going to be the same i'm still going to have a uh high priest uh demon swordsman god hand and also a ninja though the roles of the characters uh actually have been changed a bit so here uh going here this is going to be my demon swordsman right here so again going to have on the blade of ramias going to be uh pretty much doing uh eo based damage to the enemy also same here with my god hand going to be doing the same over here the same with my ninja as well hopefully i can actually get some um shadow weaves on as well and then here going to actually have my standard high priest going to be there to heal buff and then also possibly charm uh the enemy with ultra hustle dance so pretty much that's going to be this team here so if you want to know more about the team you can look down in the video description down below but now i actually want to go into uh this battle against uh the balzac beast so this is going to be found in my uh ruler list for uh mega monsters so uh pretty much uh this battle should actually go uh quite smooth so we'll see what happens here but uh with that said here we go okay so here we go with this battle i guess the balls like these using this uh eo based team that's going to be a buff removing team as well so uh, pretty much uh, here, uh, what I'll do first is I'm actually going to use Hero's Proof on all my characters. So this is going to increase uh, their attack power to uh, rank 2. Also, it gives me uh, regen and also resistances to Dane and Boggy. So going to do that for all my characters here. So pretty much this bypasses um, the uh, Protective Shield Stemmy... Uh, strategy here and then hopefully in this case um i will be able to have chances to use a uh, blade dance in order to rebuff uh, my characters well uh, ooh, sorry excuse me there uh, but we'll see what happens then uh here going to go ahead use protective shield with uh my high priest so there uh ooh, okay so in this case uh all right, so the attack power of my ninja and also my god hand went down and my ninja is actually uh, feared, but um, I should still be okay. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and attack. Okay, not a whole lot of damage there. Here, going to go ahead and attack. 17,000, that's pretty good. Then here, definitely what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and use Ultra Hustle Dance. Uh, let's see if I can get a charm. No charms there. But let's see, this turn. Ooh, this turn, uh, he could be using, yep. Here comes Secrets of Evolution. But no problem so with the next turn i'm going to be using um phantasm sword slash to remove all of those buffs okay so here first going to have my ninja and uh let's see if i can remove a buff here yes so uh defenses are removed 
defense buff is removed there. Uh, the gained one uh, rank in evolution or evolve. That's fine. Let's see. Attack buff is removed. Again, another rank in uh, evolve. Then here, going to go ahead and attack as well. And that move. Wow, that missed. That happens more often than you think. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah, so here, let's see, uh, no charms there. But, um, ah, good. I did get a rebuff on uh, attack power, so that actually did work out in my favor. So uh, things are actually going pretty good so far for this battle. Okay, so now I have two more buffs to remove. So here, going to start off with my ninja. Okay. Third buff removed. So all that's left is evolve. So evolve is now at level four. So here, uh, probably this is going to remove the buff as well. Yes, so... Um, Balzac Beast is now buffless right now, so that's actually working in my favor. So here, going to go ahead and use Extreme Karma. And going to start doing some damage to the enemy. So there, 57,000 damage. So yes, very nice. Good. And then, of course, here, going to go ahead and use Ultra Hustle Dance. Let's see if I can actually get a charm. We'll see what happens. Uh, nothing there. Uh, but here I got an Echo, Saint Echo, and here, uh, again, nothing there. So, with the way things are going right now, I guess I'm hoping to probably finish this battle off within three to four rounds, I would say. I can actually probably do it in. Okay. So let's see what happens here. And then, okay, I got another, um, I got a clone technique. Okay. So here what I'll do is um, I will actually go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and use Battle Beam Release to do more damage. Let's see how much damage I can do here. 10,000. Uh, not a whole lot there. But uh, pretty much doing a lot of damage with my uh, Demon Swordsman right here. So let's see what I can get with this. Again, 44,000. Nice. And then here, ah, here I got a share. So here I'm going to go ahead and heal up everyone. So if I have another round like I did this previous round, I could take him out uh, this coming round. We'll see what happens. But uh, here, I did lose the buff, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and use Hero's Proof again. And pretty much just go ahead and attack with my other characters. Let's see what I get here. Okay, 22,000. And here, let's see, I get... Okay, 16,000. Okay, that's good. So yeah, definitely next round, um, Balzac Beast is going to go down. So here what I'll do is I'm going to rebuff with Blade Dance. And then there, everyone got a boost to their defenses. So Paralyzing Double Slash. Marizoma. And probably another Paralyzing Double Slash. So pretty much this is going to be it right here. So most likely going to be my Demon Swordsman finishing off this monster. So let's see what happens. So yes, Demon Swordsman going to go ahead and attack. And 
Ooh, okay, still has a little bit more life left. But there. They're done. Okay. So again, Balzac Beast is a red soul, and here I got a D. Okay, so that was my battle against the Balzac Beast using an EO-based team. Pretty much all attackers using the Blade of Ramus to remove uh, all the buffs of uh, Secrets of Evolution. So yeah, you saw how different uh, that battle made compared to my previous battle. Uh, definitely with the Blade of Ramius, this really does help um, out in terms of actually making the battle uh, go uh, easier. So uh, pretty much with removing the buffs, I could easily just do a lot of damage to the enemy. You saw I did a lot of damage with my uh, Demon Swordsman. So I was able to do almost 100,000 damage in two rounds with just my Demon Swordsman alone. So that really did help out with this particular battle. So pretty much, uh, yeah, just removing the buffs and pretty much just keeping your buffs on and your own buffs on and uh, also healing everyone up. Um, that actually did work out. Um, I didn't get any Shadow Weaves uh, this uh, particular battle, but um, I, I actually do uh, sometimes do get them. So definitely, um, yeah, if uh, you're having trouble uh, with any other team, uh, definitely uh, use uh, this particular EO based team. And of course, I forgot to mention using the Geika armor and also the Wild Gear to lessen the damage from beasts. So what I want to do now is actually go over the S grade soul of this uh, Mega Monster. So that's going to be found right over, let's see. So going to be right here. So this is going to be the Balzac Beast soul. So um, again, this is going to be red soul. So usually your major stats are going to be in your strength and uh, also your agility dexterity. So you can see here, uh, strength is 140. So that's actually quite high. Agility 100 and then uh, dexterity 96. So uh, yeah, so this is actually a pretty powerful soul. Uh, but if you look at the HP going to be 69. So pretty much you're sacrificing um, your HP uh, for uh, strength. So that could work out if that's what you're planning, if you're planning to, what you're planning to do. Then in terms of abilities, gonna have plus 7% to weapon skill and physical technique damage. So uh, also going to have a uh, plus 10% to Gita weapon and physical technique damage. Going to have a uh, plus 7% resistance to fear and plus 7% to uh, lowered attack uh, resistance. So that's pretty much going to be this soul here. So going to go ahead and uh, lock it in. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So um, there's going to be uh, some stuff coming up on the 7th. So the Herald four and a half year anniversary. So I will be covering uh, stuff regarding that. And I will also be going over the uh, high difficulty quest for uh, this Valentine event. So with that said, going to go ahead and end this video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.